Whenever a starship flight ends in an ex explosion, a common reaction among some observers is to ridicule SpaceX's rockets, seeing these outcomes simply as failures. Critics often point to these fiery conclusions as evidence of shortcomings, ignoring the broader context of trial and error inherent in pioneering space exploration. However, those with a more positive view understand that these incidents are integral steps toward groundbreaking achievements. Each flight, regardless of its end, contributes to invaluable data and insights, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This perspective is underscored by Elon Musk himself, who recently tweeted about Starship's progress, highlighting its milestones and future potential impact. In his tweet, Musk emphasized that even partial successes are crucial in the grander scheme of developing a fully reusable spacecraft capable of interplanetary travel. In today's episode of Elon Empire, we will delve into the remarkable achievements and ambitious goals of SpaceX's Starship program. Despite the setbacks and dramatic endings of some test flights, Starship has made significant strides that many other rockets have yet to achieve. Our focus will be on understanding these milestones and what they mean for us for the future of space travel. To provide context, we'll compare Starship's development journey to that of SpaceX's Falcon rockets nearly two decades ago. SpaceX's history is marked by persistence through initial failures, as seen with the Falcon 1, whose first three flights failed because the fourth flight's success marked a turning point. Similarly, the early flights of Starship, while not flawless, have paved the way for extraordinary progress and set the stage for future triumphs. The first three flights of Starship, while dramatic, were far from complete failures. Each flight provided a wealth of data that has been instrumental in refining the rocket's design and operation. The initial flight saw the Starship prototype SN8 nearly complete a successful high-altitude test, only to crash during the landing attempt. Despite this, the flight demonstrated critical capabilities such as controlled descent and precision landing maneuver. The second flight, involved in the SN9 prototype, followed a similar path, while another hard landing but improved performance in other areas. The third flight, SN10, managed to land successfully, though it exploded minutes after touchdown due to a landing leg issue. Each of these flights, while ending in a spectacular fashion, represented significant learning experiences. They allowed engineers to identify and fix issues, leading to incremental changes. This iterative process is a testament to SpaceX's approach, rapidly testing, failing, learning, and improving. The lessons learned from these flights have been invaluable, leading to design enhancements and better preparation for future missions. Elon Musk has consistently emphasized the groundbreaking achievements of the Starship program, positioning it as a pivotal advancement in space exploration. In a recent tweet, he highlighted the significance of progress made by Starship, particularly focusing on its ability to reach orbital velocity. Achieving this milestone is a remarkable feat, as it demonstrates that Starship can attain the speed necessary to enter and maintain orbit around Earth. This capability sets Starships apart from many other rockets which have not yet accomplished such a task. Musk's comments underscore the importance of viewing each test flight as a building block towards greater accomplishments, rather than merely focusing on the immediate outcomes. His optimistic perspective encourages the public and the scientific community to recognize the incremental success that it contributes to the overall mission of developing a fully reusable spacecraft for interplanetary travel. One of the most notable achievements in Flight 3 was Starship reaching orbital speed, a critical milestone in spaceflight. Orbital speed, approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour, is the velocity that requires for a spacecraft to achieve a stable orbit around Earth. During Flight 3, after the successful separation of Ship 28 from Booster 10, Starship continued its journey towards orbit, achieving speeds exceeding 26,000 kilometers per hour and reaching altitudes of over 200 kilometers. This demonstrated that Starship has the potential to perform sustained operations in orbit, which is essential for future missions involving cargo and crew transport. In addition to reaching orbital speed, SpaceX conducted a successful payload door test during the flight. This test was crucial for validating the mechanism that will allow Starship to deploy payloads in space. The success of this test lays the groundwork for future missions that will require precise and reliable payload deployment, a key capability for commercial and scientific missions. Another significant milestone achieved in Flight 3 was the NASA assigned tipping point test, which involved transferring propellant from the header tank to the main tank. This test marked SpaceX's first step towards developing the ship-to-ship -ship refueling system, a critical tech for extended space missions, including those to Mars. NASA confirmed the success of this mission, highlighting the effectiveness of fuel transmission in orbit. This capability is not only challenging, but also essential for the sustainability of long-duration spaceflights. Comparing SpaceX's progress to that of Blue Origin further underscores the remarkable achievements of the Starship program. Despite having similar financial resources, Blue Origin has not yet reached orbit after 24 years of development. In contrast, SpaceX's ability to reach orbital speed and conduct complex tests with a shorter time frame showcases the company's innovative approach and rapid advancements in aerospace tech. This achievement reflects SpaceX's leading position in the race to develop reusable spacecraft and achieve ambitious space exploration goals. Starship holds the record as the largest spacecraft to reach orbit, a remarkable achievement in the field of aerospace engineering. 
Measuring 50 meters in length and 9 meters in diameter, Starship's sheer size enables it to carry a substantial payload compared to other rockets. This capability is crucial for future missions, including the transport of large quantities of cargo or numerous passengers to destinations like the Moon or Mars. Elon Musk has also often highlighted this achievement, noting that the successful launch and operation of such a massive spacecraft marks a significant milestone not just for SpaceX, but for space exploration as a whole. Musk's perspective emphasizes that Starship's size and capabilities will revolutionize our approach to space travel, enabling missions that were previously considered unattainable. Achieving full reusability in spacecraft design is expected to have a profound impact on space exploration. Full reusability means that both the rocket booster and the spacecraft can be launched, recovered, and reused multiple times with minimal refurbishment. This concept was partially realized with NASA's space shuttle, which could be reused but only its orbiter and not its main fuel tank or solid rocket boosters. SpaceX's Falcon rockets have taken this a step further by successfully reusing boosters and bearings. However, Starship aims to push the boundaries even further by achieving full reusability for both its stages. This would drastically reduce the cost of space missions, as the need to build new rockets for each launch will be eliminated. Additionally, it would enhance the sustainability and frequency of space travel, making regular missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond a practical reality. SpaceX has laid out ambitious plans for Starship's upcoming flights, with each step designated to test and validate different aspects of its reusability and functionality. In Flight 4, the focus will be on landing the booster, designated B-11, on a virtual platform in the Gulf of Mexico. This will be a significant test of precision landing techniques, as the booster must land on a designated spot rather than a broader target area. For Flight 5, the goal will be to return both the booster and the Starship to Starbase and land them using the Mechazilla Arm, an innovative mechanism designed to catch the descending rocket stages. This will also set the stage for Flight 6, where both the booster and the ship will be recovered using the Mexilla Arm, marking the first instance of full reusability for a spacecraft in aerospace space history. Sometimes successfully landing both stages with the Mechazilla arm will be a monumental achievement, demonstrating SpaceX's ability to reuse its rockets entirely. The benefit of achieving full reusability with Starships are multifaceted with significant implications for the cost and frequency of space missions. Firstly, low production costs are a major advantage as reusing spacecraft reduces the need for building new ones from scratch. This cost reduction can free up funds for other critical areas, such as developing infrastructure for Mars colonization or enhancing technological capabilities. Secondly, reduced turnaround time means that rockets can be prepped for subsequent flights much quicker, significantly increasing the launch frequency. This could allow SpaceX to launch thousands of Starships per year, far surpassing the capabilities of any current Starship vehicle. Beyond financial and operational efficiencies, Elon Musk envisions full reusability as a crucial step toward making interplanetary life a reality. Sustainable and frequent space travel is essential for establishing a permanent human settlement on Mars, a goal that requires a reliable and reusable spacecraft to transport people and supplies regularly. Full reusability is not just a technological milestone, it's a foundational element in Musk's vision for extending human consciousness beyond Earth, ensuring our species' survival and prosperity in the cosmos.